Good morning, folks, wherever you are out there. Welcome. You are listening to the Charge Life Podcast. I am Joseph Barletta, and this is where we discuss EVs and all things EV charging. So glad you could pull over and park with us today. Hey, let's get plugged in. Look, this, today's episode is about Tesla signing deals with several major hotel chains for expanding its level two destination charging network. You're going to love this one. But before we begin, today's episode is brought to you by Smart Charge America. Since 2007, Smart Charge America has installed tens of thousands of EV charging stations nationwide, and they can do the same for you today. Whether in the home, commercial, service, let their team of expert installation specialists guide you to the best solution for your new electric car. After all, if you can't charge, you can't drive. Visit SmartChargeAmerica.com today to get started. Okay, Tesla signing deals left and right all over the place. Major hotel chains, a few gas stations back in 2023. We'll talk about that. But this is basically to, you know, kind of expand their level two destination charging network. We're going to kind of go into this with regards to a little history. Back in the tail end of 2023, Tesla signed their first deal, which was like really breaking news for a hundred million dollar. Uh, it was a hundred million dollar deal with BP Oil. And that was for BP to purchase supercharging stations from them. So this is the first time that we've seen a company actually come in and Tesla release their supply chain, like literally release their products to be sold to third party companies so they could put them in the ground and, of course, connect to the charging, uh, the Tesla's charging network, so forth and so on. So we see similar things happening with the Tesla Nax, uh, you know, uh, adapter with regards to o all the other OEMs, the EV OEMs kind of joining the the, the NAC standard. And then, of course, as a result, they would have exclusive access. So not exclusive access, but actually access to Tesla's supercharging network. So how that's rolled out over time, Tesla has a plan for that. The EV OEMs have a plan for it. We're really excited to see that. You know, of course, that started this month, February of 2024. And it's actually going to roll into, you know, basically the future. But we're going to start seeing in 2025 the actual vehicles themselves come with the actual next charging port. Now, we don't know if it's going to be addition to or, you know, kind of in place of um, the regular J1772. But I, I think for the most part, I think it's going to be basically in place of. Um, so we're going to see that. But, you know, look, in October 2023, Tesla signs their first deal with BP Oil for $100 million worth of superchargers. Now, we know that from what we can gather based on, you know, kind of back and forth evidence and working with Tesla over the past 12 years, that we're probably at around $20,000 per supercharger stall. That's the supercharger stall, the supercharger station itself. And so if you're looking at the $100 million commitment that BP made, it's probably going to be enough to purchase 5,000 charging stations. That's what we're gathering from that announcement. Now, of course, a month later in November, you have another large oil company, uh, gas station, you know, company, uh, EG Group out of Europe, and they basically committed to supplying superchargers to their sites. They wanted 20,000 superchargers across 3,600 sites that they have in Europe. So that was huge. That was like a 4X. If you look at, you know, BP saying, hey, look, we want to commit to $100 million, which is equivalent to about 5,000 chargers, you know, EG comes and says, you know what? We're going to 4X you. We're going to go $20,000, you know, 20,000 charger commitment. So these, these are really good, you know, really good commitments, really good trends that we're seeing in the marketplace. And of course, we need that. Tesla can't bear all that burden. We've done a previous episodes on, on this, but Tesla is really not in a position to bear the entire burden for all the support infrastructure for the entire world, you know, although they could probably do it. But, you know, we're not. So third wise, we see later, I guess, earlier last week. We had Tesla partnering up with uh, a, a fueling company out of Iceland. Uh, now, N1 is a gas station company. They have about 95 locations all across Iceland. Tesla currently has about nine supercharger locations throughout Iceland, kind of bordering along the perimeter of the entire country. And so this announcement with N1 focused on actually including supercharger stations at 20 of their sites. And so that's that's huge. So now in Iceland, you know, hopefully be over the next, you know, maybe year or two years, we'll have a total of 29 supercharger locations uh, across. And that just kind of lends itself to the popularity of these EVs, especially, um, you know, in, in foreign countries. And so well, we're really excited to see that. So if you think about N1, 95 locations, they're committed to installing, what, 20 sites, 200 chargers. That's about 10 charging stations per site, which is huge. That's good. But it's basically Tesla's average uh, when it comes to supercharging numbers, uh, when it comes to stalls per site. And 
it's probably going to put about 20% of N1's total fueling stations being equipped with superchargers uh, or for electric vehicles. And that's huge. That's, that's, that's what we want to see. Man, if, if you could look at all the fueling, Valero, the Exxons, and, and you know, all, all of the def different fueling and convenience station models, if 20% of their portfolio was already right now allocated to EV charging and had the charging infrastructure in place, we wouldn't have the the whole, you know, ordeal where people are talking about, you know, um, range anxiety or they want to see more charging stations out in the public. I think that's ultimately where we're going to land. Hopefully we can get there by 2030, but it's definitely going to take some time. So, hey, guys, look, if you can go ahead and click the thumbs up icon below the Google algorithms. I think it's pretty much like AI at this point. I don't know how it works. I don't think anybody knows how it works, but definitely clicking up the thumbs, uh, clicking at the thumbs up icon below definitely helps you know, get this message out there to to everyone and to allow folks to, to basically receive the same information as you guys. So fourth, what we've noticed is that back in 2023, again, of course, on the tail end of 23, Hilton had secured a deal to deploy 20,000 universal wall connectors. And so basically what that is, is that's like Tesla's home charger. That's the 48 amp, uh, you know, level two charger. And so Tesla's been sprinkling these level two chargers kind of in destination charging spots, um, you know, mainly retail, hospitality, um, just basic destination, you know, parking lots all across the cities. And that basically complements the supercharging aspect of when you need to charge. If these destination chargers are all over the place, then it helps relieve some of the strain off of the supercharging network. But it also allows the convenience uh, of, of, you know, kind of charging wherever you're going. Right. If you go into the movies or if you go into church or if you go into the gym uh, or if you go into, you know, eat at a restaurant or at a nightclub, you know, like you can pull again to these charging stations. And by the time you get back, you know, your, your, your EV is full. It's a complimentary charge as opposed to, you know, just sitting there waiting for 15, 10 minutes, you know, at, at a supercharger site. So Hilton basically went ahead and secured the deal to deploy 20,000 charging stations uh, at 2000 of their locations. So, again, 10 charging stations per site. That's exactly what we want to see. Uh, when, when you, because you're going to have an overall cost to actually install these charging stations. If you, let's say, let's say it's going to be $40,000 to install four charging stations. Well, it may be $50,000 to install 10 charging stations. So at $40,000 to install four charging stations, that's $10,000 per port. At $50,000 to install 10 charging stations, well, now, You've literally half that by, you know, having five thousand dollars per port, and that's kind of where we want to see the industry move to. That five thousand dollar per port is a sweet spot to be in. So it's just average wise. I'm just throwing numbers out there. Nothing. But earlier this, uh, earlier last week, we saw that Tesla again got another major deal with Choice Hotels International um, as they committed to the cause with installing what they had said with regards to four plus charging stations per site, and they have over 7,500 sites across the U.S. Now, so th when you when you see these numbers, they're very vague with regards to, you know, uh, like numbers and like how much they committed to, but it's important to remember that all of these are just commitments to volume to purchase Tesla's equipment over time. That's the most important thing. And so these organizations still have to pay companies like us to put these charging stations in the ground. You know, they have to do their due diligence and performing, you know, all of the site assessments, you know, not every single hotel is, is built the same and wired the same. You're looking at engineering plans, uh, you know, estimating procurement, you know, for bids. You're looking at permitting, utility design criteria, environmental assessments, project management. And, and then you actually actually have to move forward with the construction. OK, and then once you're once you're finished with the construction, then you activate the systems and you plug those systems into Tesla's overall charging network. That way, their drivers and everyone under the Tesla network can actually see these charging stations popping up and becoming active and, and start attracting, uh, you know, uh, those those customers. And so I think these companies, you know, they still have a long way to go from inception to utilization. But at least the commitments are made and things are trending and moving in the right direction. Now, here's the here's the catalyst. You know, for the past 10 years, Tesla has owned and operated their entire fleet of supercharging. They have the system down packed. They have a group of people. They have several groups of people that have each one of these, you know, kind of roles going in with regards to, you know, having a pipeline of, let's say, a thousand properties and then, you know, getting the construction and the permitting and everything we had mentioned, talk, you know, talked about that these organizations are going to have to try to come up with themselves. They're going to have to do themselves. And so, 
that's going to be the learning curve that we hope as Smart Charge America to come in and help these organizations kind of, you know, Tesla's already been doing it. We've been doing it alongside Tesla. So we know kind of how their the rhythm, you know, how, how everything takes. Let's go ahead and increase our pipeline so we can go ahead and try to get as many of these charging stations in the ground. Because there are a lot of uncontrollables when it comes to municipality and utility design criteria and meter drops and all of this stuff. Uh, and so the more and more you can get in your pipeline, the more and more that these things will like basically start turning online uh, with regards to frequency and, and pretty good, pretty good rate of commitment. So that's what we're seeing. So look, guys, thank you so much to our listeners and subscribers for your time today. Look, I hope this episode has brought to you a little bit more value to your day. And, and believe me, uh, we're all better for it. I love you. And yes, we can't do this without you. So thanks again so much uh, for joining us today. Go ahead and click the thumbs up icon if you haven't already. Below, share, comment, subscribe if, uh, to our channel if you think we earned it. And again, thanks again for charging up with us today. You know, Keep in mind, you can always find us at smartchargeamerica.com. And remember, folks, if you can't charge, you can't drive. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>